Finally, the dramatic rescue at sea and the emotional reunion today between a man and those who saved his life. Here's Sam Brock. We will never forget how you didn't just save one young man's life, but you saved an entire family. The man. For a village of first responders, tears, hugs, and gratitude from the Gregories. Their son, Charlie, disappeared at sea for nearly 40 hours last month off the coast of St. Augustine. When you're out there in the middle of the ocean, what did you think were the chances of your survival? Zero. 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 For sure. Yeah. You thought you were going to die? Oh, 100%. I was sure I was going to die. It was just a matter of when. Charlie tells me his 3 a.m. fishing trip was in the intracoastal close to land, but when a wave knocked over his boat and dumped his flares and cell phone out, he was whisked away 12 miles with no working motor. Just boom, 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 and died on me. His eight foot aluminum boat, submerged in water, was surrounded by sharks the same size. God, I saw probably 20 or 30 my whole time being out there. The odds of a reunion, minuscule at best, with several agencies in the water and the U.S. Coast Guard by air looking for a coconut in the ocean until the radar picked up something. It's one of the happiest days of my career. The shock from Charlie's parents, evident on that day in early August. I should never give up hope. Don't give up on the big guy. And evident certainly now. He's alive. Charlie's been found. He's alive. And we went from dead to living in a split second. A miracle reunion, but also a restoration of sinking hope. Sam Brock, NBC News, St. Augustine. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.